So the first thing I want to say is thank you and welcome to all the new subscribers that have joined my channel in the last two weeks. The growth recently has been unprecedented. We are sitting at 23,811 subscribers with several hundred new subscribers joining every hour. That is a rate I have never experienced on this channel before. I'm truly humbled and it has motivated me to ensure that I produce good quality content worthy of your subscription in the future. And a very special thank you to all the loyal subscribers that have been with me since day one. Back in August 2016, when I first posted a Flat Earth related video, the support you have provided to this channel is just fabulous. November 2018, we are approaching 24,000 subscribers with over 5 million channel views. And that is more channel views than Globusters, who currently have 4.7 million. So I really can't thank you enough. You can look forward to bigger and better things in 2019. There is going to be some major flat earth destruction happening on this channel. So let's get into the topic of this video, which is looking at a prominent flat earther who has made claims in the past that he holds a commercial pilot's license with a multi-engine rating. Some of you may be familiar with Globusters and in particular, Bob Nodell. This is his profile on the Flat Earth International Conference website. And currently, it simply states that he has experience as a pilot. But just a few days ago, what it listed here was quite different. And we'll have a look at that shortly. So occasionally I will make a video, upload it to my channel, and then decide to keep it unlisted because I want to redo the video and make it more efficient. And this is one example. It is called footage from the flight to Europe and a question for Bob. It was uploaded on November the 4th, 2018. It was never made public, but I still have it on my channel. And I'm glad I did because it shows clear proof that Globusters have deleted one of their videos and also that the FEIC profile has been edited in the last few days. So to avoid any confusion, I just want to give you a summary of what I'm showing in this video. One week ago, the homepage video on Globusters was Flat Earth, Mathematics and Pilots and Planes, Oh My. In that video, Bob states very clearly that he is a commercial pilot. Also, a week ago on the FEIC profile for Bob Nodell, it stated that he holds a commercial pilot license with a multi-engine rating. And I have proof of that in this video that was uploaded on the 4th of November. And I will play that footage shortly. The FAA website lists Robert Nodell as being a private pilot only. He doesn't hold a commercial license and he has a third class medical, which is not suitable for a commercial pilot's license. And it was last conducted in November, 1978. Now, I thought I'd have a bit of fun with Bob so in recent days, I intentionally slipped a few comments on various channels that I might make a video about this. And today I noticed that the video is not visible on Globusters. It appears that they have removed it. Additionally, the FEIC profile has been changed and no longer shows Bob holding a commercial multi-engine rating. So even though Globusters appear to have removed that video, it was mirrored by other channels and I managed to find a copy of it here and I will link to this video in the description below. So now let's take a look at part of the video I uploaded on the 4th of November where we can clearly hear Bob state that he is a commercial pilot and I also show that the FEIC profile for Bob on the 4th of November stated that he was a commercial multi-engine rated pilot. And I also demonstrate on the FAA website his record, which proves that he's only a private pilot and has a single engine rating only. So let's play the footage. Let's hear what Bob has to say. Also in the United States. So he essentially holds a dual ATP rating. Well, if you're going to look at um, pilot certifications and compare them to uh, college degrees, 
then Wolfie would have the PhD of pilot's licenses. Um, as compared to myself, um, I would have, you know, as a commercial pilot, would be more akin to a master's degree. So we heard him say very clearly that he is a commercial pilot. So at the time, I took Bob at his word, and for several years, I have believed that he is in fact a commercial pilot. But recently, looking at the FAA M and Registry and putting Bob's name in, it shows that he's not a commercial pilot. It shows a private pilot license only, single engine aircraft only, and the medical class is a third class medical that was last conducted in November 1978. So 40 years ago. I'm not going to accuse you of anything, Bob, but are you a commercial pilot or have you been exaggerating your qualifications as a pilot? Because this is telling me you don't have a multi-engine rating and this is telling me you are not actually a commercial pilot. So I'd like to give you the opportunity to explain yourself. And a very significant point is this third class medical, which is unsuitable for a commercial pilot. Here is a summary of the medical standards required by the FAA. And as you can see, a third class medical is only for private pilots. To be a commercial pilot or an airline transport pilot, you need a second class and a first class medical. I hold a first class medical and I have to do a medical every six months to keep that valid. So Bob, if you're only a private pilot, why do you tell people that you are a commercial pilot and why does your profile here list you as a commercial instrument multi-engine licensed pilot when your FAA record shows you as a private single engine only pilot? I'm just asking. So there you have it. On the 4th of November, the homepage of Globebusters featured this video with Bob stating he is a commercial pilot. Today, I cannot find this video anywhere on his channel. On the 4th of November, the FEIC profile for Bob Nodell listed him as having a commercial pilot's license with a multi-engine rating. Today, it simply states his experience as a pilot. As we saw, the FAA record for Bob Nodell proves that he is only an amateur private pilot with a single engine rating and the last time he did a medical was 40 years ago. So clearly if Bob actually was a commercial pilot, there would be no reason to remove this video from the Globusters channel. There would also be no reason to edit his profile on the FEIC website, removing any reference to him being a commercial pilot. I think it's pretty obvious, Bob, you have been exaggerating your qualifications as a pilot. You are just an amateur, and the last time you did a medical was 40 years ago, and that certainly explains why you have always been afraid to discuss flight planning with me, because you know I would destroy you in 30 seconds. So I think you need to explain yourself, Bob, if not to me, certainly to those people who paid good money to listen to you speak. Why have you claimed to be a commercial pilot with a multi-engine rating when the FAA record shows you as a private pilot, single engine only? And one final point, Bob. No, you did not win a Mavic Pro drone. Not even close. My challenge was very clear. You must use a physical model with a single real light source. In fact, most of the main points in that challenge you did not even address. So if you believe that I owe you a Mavic Pro drone, it really just confirms that you still have no idea about how the equatorial mount works or why the Equinox destroys Flat Earth completely.